Clash of the Titans, also known as Clash of the Titans, the video game is a 2010 video game for the BlackBerry, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 based on the film of the same title. Versions for the Wii, Nintendo DS and PlayStation Portable were planned but were canceled. Topic: <laughs> Gameplay The game features hack and slash combat. Some of the fights end with quick time sequences. The player can use points to upgrade their weapons. In some sections of the game the player has their weapons removed and has to fight by hand. The player can perform both light and heavy attacks and can hold buttons to release special attacks. The player can wield swords, bones, bows, and scorpion tails. The enemies have health bars with colors to show how much health they have left. Topic. Plot The game's plot closely follows that of the movie. Topic. Development The game was developed by Game Republic and published by Namco Bandai Games. The game was originally going to be published by Brash Entertainment, before it was picked up by Namco Bandai. Reception The game received unfavorable reviews according to video game review aggregator Metacritic. The graphics, gameplay, story, menu systems, and level design were all criticized. Writing for The Guardian, Nikki Wolf gave the Xbox version a negative review, criticizing the level design, likening it to what she's expect from a four-year-old with only three different crayon colors. Wolf also criticized the combat, calling the frequent quicktime finishers annoying. Reviewing the PS3 version for Game Informer, Ben Reeves criticized the game, calling the menus labyrinthine and equating the character model's expressions to that of dead fish. Reeves ended the review by calling it a frustrating action game with little depth. Writing for Eurogamer, Dan Whitehead called the combat relentless and said that, even at its best, Clash of the Titans barely succeeds on its own terms. Writing for IGN, Anthony Gallegos called the graphics ugly as sin and questioned whether or not the game should have been released at retail price. 